Welcome to my channel Coding Abbey and in this video we will see what are linked list and questions associated with it. Okay, the linked list is a series of storing elements. The now how is it different from an array? In an array we cannot grow or shrink the size of array, but in linked list we can do so. Hence is the advantage of linked list over array. And uh, in linked list, the basic structure of each element, each element is called a node. You can see first node and last node. Each element is called a node and uh, the node consists of two parts. The first is data element and second is a pointer variable which is pointing to the next data element. The data element of this um, Again, this node contains two parts, the data and the pointer to next variable and so on. The thing to be noticed is the last node of the list points to null, that is nothing. So if we encounter a null in a list, in a linked list, it means that it's the end of the list. Okay, so we will see some questions and write a code for the same. First is insertion that is at the beginning, at the end, at a given location and in the sorted array or sort, sorted list. So uh, let's get to our editor and make our default boilerplate first hash include IO stream. Let's increase the font. Yes, has include IO stream using namespace std and main function. We will create two classes. First class would be the node class the, uh, defining these two fields in it. And second would be the list class for handling the whole list. So using generic type class T, we have class node semicolon at the end. And there are only two fields in node class that is data of type T and a pointer variable which points to next node. So the type of the pointer variable is node star and the name of the variable would be next. Fine. So now let's create some Mm. Let's create the linked list class. Again, the type of the uh, again we will pass generic type parameters. Class class uh, linked list. Let's say linked list semicolon. Yes. So uh, what entities should this hold? At the very first place, there should be a private variable called as head, which is called as head, which is a pointer pointing to the first node in the list. So we will create a private variable node star head. Yes. Now uh, there should be some public fields that are or more correctly there are public functions. So the first one is default constructor and the work of this default constructor is to initialize head with null and that's it that is creating an empty list 
if head is itself a null then it starts at head and end at head itself then that's a empty list that's explained in this slide empty link list is a single pointer having the value null yes see the link list basics the structure of this node is data and a pointer variable that's what we have coded here data and a pointer variable let's write a comment for better understanding this is data and this is pointer variable for next node yes and the name of the variable is itself next so now this is the constructor here we will um, create some functions that is okay uh, let it be like that for this uh, time we will create some nodes and link some nodes with each other so that we get a list like structure node star first element of the node what is the type of node let's create a what are the operations given okay no operations or no specific data type uh, is required to be used here so we can use any data type so i am using int you can use anything string or char as you want or anything first is equal to we will allocate dynamic memory to this variable and constructing a node class so yes we should also create a default constructor for node right so that to initiate this two variables we will give it a uh, we will create a parameterized constructor node and capital data and then data and next is null okay node of type int and what should be the data in this node well we will uh, assign it later on okay we will create a default constructor instead of parameterized constructor and that's it i guess yes so we will copy this and create four nodes let's name them as first second third and fourth now to assign data and next values what we are going to do is we will access these are pointer variables of type node which hold int data type and this to access these uh, members of class using a pointer we have a operator dash dash and greater than symbol okay so let's link first to second second to third third to fourth and fourth to null okay so our list will have four elements so first data is equal to let's say it's 10 or let's say it's 1 and first next is equal to second second 
data is equal to 2 let's say okay and second next is equal to we will point the pointer of second to third now okay similarly for third we will point it to fourth first we will assign some data inside that node data is equal to let's say 3 and the pointer of this node is now pointing to the fourth node sorry then again fourth we will assign data to it data is equal to 4 and fourth is by default pointing to null because when this constructor is being called the node the next value is uh, automatically given as null okay due to this default constructor so now we need not specifically tell that fourth data is equal to null let's format the code and uh, try d uh, try compiling it to see if there are any compilation errors yes there are mm, does not have any field named head linked list does not have any field named head okay the thing was here t was missing so it might now compile properly yes it has compiled with no errors so our code is working now to print this list and to do operations on this list uh, we will create some functions here in the linked list class the first thing would be void print and it will take the starting element okay of type t sorry the argument type would be node t star okay and now defining uh, writing the code for this print function we have void void linked list of generic type t scope resolution and print function taking the taking this argument so we will start with for loop okay or let's start with um let's start with a while loop let's say while start not equal to null see out start data that is the data at this start okay start node and and end l statement here and then we will point start to next element now start is equal to start next yes So now we will uh, check this code for errors. Let's create a linked list. Link, uh, the name of the variable, let's say, is a list of type of yes, link linked list. Yeah, the type is int even here the type is int 
and a constructor default one when the constructor is called this head variable is now pointing to null so we have to give uh, we can create another parameterized constructor for this node t star and start of the list where head points to now start of the list okay this start and this start are different so now i will give here first because it is the starting of our list right the first element of our list is first itself so list dot print and let's check the output some errors expected were uh, one argument zero given yes sorry print also takes start right so where is print first we will give an argument of first conversion from linked list int to non scalar type linked list int requested what does it exactly mean let's try removing this okay fine i guess uh, it there was some error with this dynamic memory allocation so our list has been printed and all the data members that we included in our list 1 2 3 and 4 have been printed here so that's it for this video we will see rest of the operations that is insertion at the beginning insertion at end at a given location and in the sorted list later on so in this video what did we saw insertion like creating a basic uh, a simple list and adding simple addition of elements one after the other in the same list okay in the next video we will see that how to uh, insert a another element let's say 5 between this 2 and 3 and uh, all these various cases at the beginning at the end and so on okay so till then stay tuned and bye and don't forget to subscribe my channel okay